working on this 3000 watt 60 volt brushless controller from Alpha Wheels. It's a big fella. Like I said, it's, it's a big fella. It's about eight and a half inches long. About four and a half inches wide. And about two and a half thick or tall. Nice cooling fins on it. Got your uh, three phase wires, your power in. These two would be your ground and power. Let's see what we got here. This big fella here, that would be your haul. You got your plus and minus and the three phase wires also and a whole mess of stuff here I don't know something in Chinese power lock so that would be our main on off switch high level brake Display low level brake. This one will be our throttle red, red, green, and black. There's for our reverse switch, it's just two wires, so it just takes a standard rocker switch. I believe these are our self-learning wires. Have to get into that later. Anti-theft. Okay. High and low speed. So this is our two or three speed switch. We'll have to see what we got to see what this one's set up as. And we also have cruise. So Got some more Chinese right now on the bottom. So let me see if I can get a close up of that. There we go. Maybe we'll do some translation or something if necessary. But I'm thinking we're gonna open it up and see what we can see inside. We got here on the end that says BM. 1119 controller, 3000 watt, 60 volt, reverse and brushless. Alright. Get on our end plate here. Oh, big old meaty heat sink, it looks like up in there. Let's see, it doesn't seem like the top comes off or the bottom. This is just a one piece case. Alrighty. Well, it looks like the circuit board's just floating in there. Connected to that big 
I-beam looking heat sink. It looks like it's bolted down with them three bolts. I don't see anything else connected to the sides or... Alrighty, let me get the other end off or loose and see what we got. I got all the screws out of the other end, but it's, I'd say the wiring's got it pretty tight. I'm thinking let me get them sc screws out of there and see if the whole shebang will slide out. Well, they weren't super tight. Hopefully we can get this thing back together. <laughs> Alright, I got all the screws out. Let me see what we got here. Dun dun dun. and grease it looks like Got here. So this is your A, B, and C phases. As you can see, the yellow, blue, and green wires. P minus. That's our ground wire right there red wire goes over a little further it's P plus Let's see 25 volt here 16 volt here VCC okay See what else we got here. It says F four seven zero UF and a hundred volt and them two capacitors right there. Looks like there's some more capacitors down in there too. Yep. There's one, two, three. Looks like there's one for each one of the phases. Okay, just looking around. From what I can tell, it looks like a pretty nice job, I guess you would say. Saturn looks pretty decent. Looks clean, laid out nice. I guess we'll have to see if we can get her back together now. I got her all back together now. Should do the job. The reason I opened it up wanted to see what was going on inside is I was wondering about um, the use or necessity of a contactor and also a precharge function or resistor basically. 
to charge up the caps inside this puppy so we don't have that 60 volts of energy in rush smacking them caps hard and end up popping one of them out but I didn't see a pre-charge resistor of any kind in there so I would say we gotta I don't know so yeah contactor is usually for like the old DC uh, brushed forklifts the battery went low or things started getting old and crusty and corroded sometimes they would get stuck on and have what they would call a runaway situation where it wouldn't turn off the power just kept flowing to ran dead totally I'm not sure if that's a thing with these brushless controllers brushless motors and controllers but we still got the inrush because that would be an issue whether it's brushed or brushless alright well I'm going to look into this a little bit more and I'll do a couple more videos on testing it and connecting it and everything like that but I'll con conclude this one for now just mainly wanted to do a open her up and see what's inside Stay tuned.